E yo, what up? It's your boy AMPM Cookie, and today I'm gonna be doing another legit hentai review where I review the worst of the worst hentai out there. Now, the hentai I'm reviewing today is uh, through my eyes, seen as a classic. It's brand new, but in my eyes, it's gonna be a classic, and this classic is called. Odeo Mizuruyu, K Land, number one. So there's already gonna be a number two planned. I wonder if there's gonna be a cinematic universe connected between, you know, the rest in the series. I'll be looking forward to that. Wow, this hentai is quite amazing, quite phenomenal. Uh, I've watched it, I'd say maybe about five times, and it's very exciting each time I watch it. And I always find hidden messages within the video's context, if that makes any sense. So let me go ahead and start this. Eh, can't speak. Let me go ahead and start this review by uh, starting off by describing the plot. So, what this hentai is about, or let me just explain the premise first. It's kind of like uh, an amusement park where nice young adults. You know, come together and enjoy some sexual intercourse with each other while also enjoying what the theme park has already available. Like the Ferris wheel, merry-go-round, cotton candy, uh, the homie Pennywise doing some shows. You know, you have all that going on in the amusement park, you know? But uh, you're also fucking at the same time, which is a very unique idea of a story. And so, the story, or like the characters, are like some three girls. They're the main characters. Three girls, right? You got a, you got one girl. She kind of shy. You know, this is her first time going to this amusement park. And then she has two other friends looking good that have experience in this amusement park. And they're saying, hey, relax, dude. Like, for real, you're going to have a great time and just kick back, all right? And so they're on the bus going to this amusement park, and there's also two main dudes. One of them's his first time going. He's like, I don't know, bro, like, this is kind of scary. What if no one wants to fuck me, <laughs> you know? But his friend's like, nah, bro, you'll be good. Trust me, girls here, they're fire. You know, they a little bit on the thotty side, but... For real, you want to get your dick wet. <laughs> and so that goes on. And then the main character girl and the main character dude they end up blocking eyes with each other. They notice each other and they're like, bro, she's the one. And so that's what happens first. And then next, which, which is pretty interesting, is uh, like before you enter the amusement park, you have to make sure you don't have any STDs. Like for real, if you're gonna be in an amusement park where orgies are happening 24/7, you're gonna want to be clean. So, yeah, the girls what they do is they put like a vacuum cleaner up their uh, vagina, and it kind of like sucks the the bacteria. I'm guessing, and while the girls are getting their vacuum, yeah, they're Regina vacuum. Uh, one of them's all like, "Hey, this feels pretty good." And she's like, "Ah, ah, ah you know, doing the hentai mode." And yeah, they seem to enjoy it. Now, when the males get their uh, STD check, they have a a female worker, half naked. And I don't. This is the part that confuses me. I don't know what they're trying to trying to do. But uh, they perform some witchcraft on this part. It's like the girl has like a condom, the female worker, yeah. She has like a condom and she puts it on the, the homie. And it's like pink, right? And then for some reason it just turns invisible. I don't get it, but um, I guess that's the future. Uh, invisible condoms. Fascinating. And so that's their STD check, I guess. And then uh, the female worker's like, hey, you know, this is your first time here. You, you want me to want me to suck your cock? And the guy's like, oh, no, no, it's all right. Because, you know, he's a pussy. 
So yeah, that's the kind of like be- the the beginning part, and then after you know shit goes down, it's an amusement park. People are having fun. Oh, also I want to mention the consent stickers that people put on each other. Like let's say me, Oscar the Sage, wants to go to this amu- amusement park, and uh, I have like they give you this sticker. It's like if you put like a blue sticker on, it means. Uh, you don't mind being touched like for real like you know touch my hand touch my feet touch my nose you know you can touch anything you want uh if you put like a green sticker it means yo kiss me let's smooch let's cuddle what's up and then if you have like a pink sticker it means all right bro let's go all the way so i I think that's a unique construct a uh, very uh, complex uh, battle system that they implemented into the show and I think it's very revolutionary so that's kinda like the plot it's very fascinating something I've never seen before and uh, I hope other hentai can learn from this premise because it's very very intriguing so yeah, that's that's the plot now let's go on to character design now we got the main character she has pink hair green eyes big titties and she's looking fire she's thick looking good and then uh we got our two best friends one of them has uh purple hair yellow eyes big titties uh very thick and she kind of looks like my uh my anime character from my manga you know so that's pretty cool i guess and then her, she got her other best friend uh, she has blonde hair looks like blue eyes big titties and very thick so it's very formulaic in the character design but I like that I mean who doesn't like a little bit of thickness right now the homie you know we don't really care about the homie but we're still gonna describe him anyway so the main character he got brown hair blue eyes looks very generic and uh, he got big cock yeah and this friend he has a uh, like brown brown blonde hair that fool is wild <laughs> yo he got a big cock too yo, yo I ain't gay this is only for the review alright I love women so that's character design very formulaic but uh it all works out in the end so it's all good so yeah, that's character design. Let's go ahead and go on to sound effects. Sound effects are very realistic. They actually went out of their way to actually record these sounds. It looks like they went into the sound booth and like actually performed the intercourse. It's very realistic. You can hear every... Every... You know, you can hear all that. And so I have to give a shout out to the design department. Yeah, the sound department, uh, they did a very good job. Uh, voice acting, you know, I'm learning Japanese through Duolingo. It's an app on my phone. Yo, I'm sponsored by them, so like download their app through my download link so you can give me some cash. But uh, that's where I'm learning my Japanese for now until my textbook comes in. But uh, I can kind of hear what the, what the hentai characters are saying, you know. Like the girls are like, ah, ah, and then the homie's like, ah, 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 ah. If you didn't know what that means, I just said, yo, where's the bathroom? See, I told you I'm learning Japanese. So yeah, voice acting on point as always. Uh, if this was an English dub, it sucked dick, but that's besides the point. So what's next? Voice acting. Uh, I guess animation. Everything flows smoothly. Very high budget. Looks like uh, Steven Spielberg produced it. You know, I can kind of tell through the influences, but yeah. Um, I also like to do a new segment. It's called uh, Live Reaction. Uh, you won't be able to see it because I'm not good at editing. But even if I was good at editing, I can show you the, you know, the hentai itself.
I'd get uh, age restricted or my video would get taken down or I'd probably get a strike. So you're just gonna have to listen or actually search it up, the video itself, and you know, see how it sounds. I mean, how it looks, sorry. But uh, yeah, it's live reaction, so yeah, take a listen, all right? Let me go ahead and pull the volume. See, as you can as you can hear the sound effects they're on point you know the scene going on right now is when uh, the female workers like all right the CV have STDs bro <laughs> all right <laughs> so this one girl she's looks like she's eating a like a popsicle it's shaped like a penis. Fascinating. Uh, as you can hear, the lady who's speaking right now, she sounds like 40. She a MILF. And that's pretty good. This beats fire, dude. All right, that's enough. But uh, you get you get the idea, right? You know, live reaction. You know, give me money. Anyway, rewatch value. Uh, I mean, I watched it five times. Uh, I think it's all right. You know, it's pretty good. Um, you probably enjoy it. I know I did. I'm hoping there's a part two soon because it left off on a big cliffhanger. Because uh, you know, spoiler alert. But uh. The homie was like really digging the girl. He's like, "Yo, after this, let's meet up together. Let's go eat at a Red Lobster. Um, maybe we can catch a movie. Let's watch uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. And yeah, you know, let's get together." But the girl's like, "Nah, bro. I only came to this place to have sex. I ain't looking for a relationship. Sorry, bro. I'm out." And so it just left off on a big cliffhanger like that. So it kept me wanting more. Yeah. So that's the review. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think about it if you've seen it. And if you haven't seen it, uh, watch it. And uh, comment back saying, yo, I watched it. It was shitty. Why did you even watch it yourself? I don't know why I watched it. It's because I'm a lonely man don't have a, a female to talk to that could be it honestly I have no idea are you still there yeah you are so yeah <laughs> hope you enjoyed the review and I'll catch you later on the flip side alright bye anime girls are perfect have a great day